माय नेम इज लक्ष्य कुमारी आर ए रीडिंग क्लास फोर्थ एंड टेन मै आई लिव एन जगदेपत आई बी ए जज Lakshmi is such a strong girl. She's the star of Sister Suda's karate classes. She traveled to Japan in September to compete in an international tournament and she swept the prizes. She takes the lead in every game the girls play after class. Lakshmi is one of the few girls at the school who isn't from a rural village. She's from a grim slum where the Mushahara are forced to live in the middle of Patna, the capital of Bihar. Frothy green sewage runs in open gutters and right through the corners of people's homes. When I visited one day, almost all the adults, men and women, were drunk on a homebrew made out of fermented garbage, and it was hard to blame them. The tiny, low-roofed houses are packed together in alleys filled with trash and human waste. It's a miserable environment, and it's hard to believe that Lakshmi, who's so bright and confident, comes from here. I asked Lakshmi's mother Saroja what it means to be mushahar. She told me it means people who have nothing. So I asked her what she thought of Lakshmi's dream to be a judge, and she said she thought Lakshmi could do it if she had help. I said, "When she's a judge, will she still be Mashahar?" And her mother said, "Of course." And I said, "But she won't be a person with nothing any more." And Lakshmi's mother said, "Even if she's a judge, she'll always be Mashahar. She can't go anywhere else. She'll have to live right here. She'll be Mashahar whatever happens." Lakshmi is so strong and has such big dreams, but when her community looks at her, they only see one thing. For the Globe and Mail, I'm Stephanie Nolan in Bihar.